Okay guys, welcome back uh, to the channel. I'm Ian. A um, bit different from the cold filters of uh, the Sun Somerset, but um, today we're going to be doing a bit of a maintenance on Disco Doris. I'm going to be fitting a new control unit for the Webasco heater um, so that you can remotely uh, switch it on um, so it warms up the car. Um. Okay, this is what we're going to be uh, fitting today. Um, I got it off that company there. Um, they didn't have any any in stock uh, when I f went to order it, but um, I left an email address and they notified me when they had some more in stock. So it's worth doing that if they haven't got any in stock. Um, it costs £125 um, plus I think I can't remember if the delivery was free or not. I'll have to double check on that and I'll put something in the description. Um, obviously there are other ones on the market, but they're double just over double the price. Basically, what this uses is the uh, bottom button on the key fob for the Disco 3 or Disco 4. But double check if it will fit a Disco um, 4. This is obviously a Disco 3. Um, the Land Rover button, which switches the headlights on, you wire it into the headlights so you can press that button. It will run the heat for 30 minutes, which is the default setting, or when the coolant gets up to 75 degrees. Um, I've already removed the uh, battery cover and the cover for the relay box. As you can see there, there's the heater. So I'm going to have to move, remove the uh, headlight now. So first things first, we'll uh, take the front grille off, which is really easy. It's just these clips here, just push down on them. They're not brilliant, but that's all popped off now. Okay, so we've got the uh, front grille off. Um, it's really simple, obviously those clips I just showed. Now we need to get this headlight off so we can get to uh, the wiring. Uh, so we can tap into uh, the headlight wire, the follow me home uh, light. So what we need to do is lift those back clip there, which is on the left hand side of the headlight. And there's also a headlight at the top there. Now I'm going to use a screwdriver. Now um, this is going to be quite difficult holding the camera and lifting that up. Push in there should clip up like that so as you can see that's the clips pulled up I, that's the little uh, retaining clip there now obviously on the actual headlight there's a little circular bit make sure that lines up as you won't be able to get it off if you pull it up too far see it comes out now okay. that's the headlight removed so we need to get that's the headlight wiring we need a wire on there, which I think is the pink and blue one, but we'll get there anyway. We'll wire in the top bit first, and then run a wire down to there to tap into it. Right, let's crack on. Okay, what we've got is, um, I'm sorry about the noise in the background, that's someone doing some work on their house. But what we've got is uh, red wire uh, that comes from the controller. Uh, that goes to, goes to positive on the battery terminal. terminal. We've got the white wire, which goes on to the connector for the heater, number two pin, which is there. We'll take that off very shortly. We've got the black wire, which goes onto the earth, which is uh, ideally set just on the side of the wing there. Then we've got the yellow wire, which uh, will crimp a connector on, and that goes It'll go into that, uh, the positive, I think it's a positive, it'll go into that connector there on the, in the relay box, the spare relay um, socket. And the blue wire, I go down into the headlight and splice into the wire require on the uh, headlight wiring loom. So I think what we'll do is we'll start off um, with connecting the earth and the white wire to the Vasco heater and then go from there. Okay, what we need to do now is connect the, uh, or crimp the connector. They're all supplied to the black earthen wire. We'll do that now.
Right, what we're going to do now is pull out the uh, Webasco heater uh, connector and then we'll wire up the wire, right wire up to pin two um, on that uh, on the spare socket. This is a later version because it has, if, if it's an early version, Discovery 3, it'll have a red wire. Um, you can either splice into that or remove that and put the white wire into the connector. I haven't got the red wire because this is a 2008 stroke 2009 it was one of the last discovery 3 so it hasn't got that red wire they removed it on the newer version of the, the discovery 3 so we'll do that now okay so we've got the uh, got the plug out let's see if we can get you in a bit closer so as you can see As you can see with the plug, you've got that little pink section. Now, that has got a little slot in it where you can put a screwdriver in, you pull that across, that unlocks um, the wires. Now, we need pin two. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, get it focused. Pin two. Um, that's where we need to go in. But obviously, what we'll do is we'll open it up and push it in there. So, pin two is that second one in. So yeah, we'll do that now. Okay, that's it unlocked so we can push the wire in. What you have to do, is I don't know if you can see it, just trying to get it to focus in, is push that pink clip down and pull it across. Now I used um, that there, and you just pull it across and that'll unlock um, the section we need, to, the housing that we need to put the uh, wire in. So yeah, so push down on that, pull it across to the right. Okay, I've removed the blue um, protective grommet that was obviously in the blanket blanked hole. So we're now going to put the white wire in. You obviously get the uh, cover there. It's already all wired up. It's really wired up. It's really good. So we'll push that in now and uh, that'll be the Vasco heater side done. Okay, so I've just pushed the pink connector across that locks all the uh, wires in. Now make sure you push it all the way across and you get all the clicks. That means that all the um, wires are locked in. There's only two wires on that bit anyway. There's number four and number two. But if you just put, click it across one, it'll just lock number three. Make sure you click it up twice. You'll hear it click and then it'll be, uh, you won't be able to go any further. Okay, that's the uh, yellow wire now crimped. Um, we'll route that into the uh, relay box uh, now. Now the instructions you get clearly show um, where to put the wire. So we need to put it in that one just there. If you can see that, let's move the camera a bit. So we'll push that in now. Right, that's now firmly in. Now I'm gonna leave the wire like that now. It's a bit untidy, but we'll we'll tidy up um, when we've got everything wired in. So now we'll move on to the blue wire, which needs to go down towards where the headlight is. Okay, so I don't know if you can see, we've gone through um, the inner wing just there. There's the wire. There's the heater. But I'm going to I was just I'm going to put some a cover over the wire to give it a bit of extra protection. Now we've come in through there. This will be behind the headlight. There's the headlight bracket just there. Ooh, tip you up that way. Um, so we'll put the connector you uh, get. I'm going to I'm going to just use the connector I was given. You can splice in and solder, but I'm just going to use the connector. So I'll get that connected up to the blue wire, and then we'll search for the wire we need to connect this to um, to the headlight. We need to connect it to the blue and pink wire, which is uh, this one here. Now this is a connector we're going to use, so that obviously goes in crimps onto the cable and then you push that connector onto that. So, okay so we'll put this on the on the wire now and uh, I'll connect the blue wire up. I won't show you doing that because it's, it's just quite simple. But yeah, I'll be back in a minute. There's a blue wire there, I've got to tidy that up. There's the protective casing I put on for the wire, it runs up here. I've used some sticky cable tie things to hold it there. 
Uh, there's a yellow wire. Obviously, ideally, which I think Land Rover must have thought about it, not. They've put it's, the wire sits nicely in those little slots. Perfect. Um, that's the power wire there connected. Um, obviously, we connected the earth earlier. Um, there's the white wire. So, what I'll do now is I'll put the headlight back in and then we'll test it and then we'll tidy up um, Bob, your uncle. Okay, then, so that's all wired in. Um, tidied all the wiring up. Um, that's obviously the little control box, the system active, and obviously the pumps running, which you can hear. Uh, when you first start it up um, by flashing the Land Rover. Uh, sign on the key fob you might get a bit of smoke come from the uh, near side front that's just the exhaust from the uh, Wisbasco heater once it's heated up it's uh, it's fine so yeah that cost me what 125 pound they didn't have it in stock straight away I left them an email which you can on their website I'll put the link up in the description and they'll get back to you when they've got them in stock again uh, it's pretty easy to fit you get the instructions with it and there's also a video on the I think it's their website or you can find their YouTube channel they've put a video on I just thought I'd do a little video um, just for my channel but yeah pretty good buy I'm quite impressed with it so we'll see how we get on um, and I'll report back later on after a few months um, I have noticed with the car in this cold weather that it's been a bit of a nightmare to start perhaps the uh, glow plugs are on the way out I just thought this is a better way Instead of sitting on the drive with the engine running, just run the Wispasco heater to heat the coolant up. So yeah, don't forget to uh, subscribe, uh, like. Um, I'll have some more videos coming up soon of uh, obviously on some lockdown walks um, around the Westby area, which I said last time. And hopefully we can get back in the Somerset coalfields uh, shortly and get back to camping and green lane in, in Disco Doris. But uh, yeah, tight your boys for now. Um, obviously enjoy. Uh, stay safe, um, be careful, and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.